Hello and welcome to another video regarding builds. Um, as I covered before, I uh, did the builds for leveling build, and now we're going to be talking about PVE build for close beta 2, where we're tackling for uh, Balrog dungeon, and we're going to be tackling the uh, Chaos Raid with the Devil Rack. Uh, so, my current build, let's go with the uh, attributes. Uh, I spent most of my stats on critical rate. It gives you the most attack on paper, of course, uh, or on screen. But uh, it all depends on uh, if I'll be landing the crits or not, is the question when it comes anyone, to my base damage or my overall DPS. So I went critical build. Um, obviously, my gear isn't really the best shape at the moment, as you can see. Majority of the items should have strength on them, or especially the weapon. I think it has a uh, permanent stats on strength and such, but it's not the best. Right, let's talk about uh, skills. We're sticking with only that spin because that's the main DPS when you're filling in. You have Groundbreaker maxed out as well. We're not using any Dark Might because we don't want to use up any of the uh, Dark Aura stacks. Nothing on Void Slash, nothing on Dark Breaker, nothing on Worry Instinct. Um, Blood Loss is a must if you're planning on uh, attempting things uh, like without a priest or if your priest is far away then you need to heal yourself. This is an extra heal, just think of it as an extra elixir because elixir is 50% but this one is 41, uh, 43%. So it's a good way to heal yourself to fully, or half of your health. Uh, next up, blood price. Uh, this time I had enough SP and uh, from doing a lot of trophies and a lot of stuff, and I got uh, this max dot. So this baby here is giving me 14% damage boost for 30 seconds. Now, I may lose health there, which is why it's good to have blood loss or have a priest in your party and always make sure to use it when you know that you're not going to take any damage at all. Uh, so in comparison to with Dark Might, Dark Might is probably going to give you more damage, but it's only for 10 seconds. And this is only for level 1 show that's being shown here. So the best damage boost right now for me is Blood Price. Uh, and the next is Great Sword Mastery. Max that out, it's a passive skill. And then from here on, if I do get more SP, I might be dumping into Inhuman Endurance for that extra safety in case I'm low on health. Or I will go for the um, Deep Wounds. So Deep Wounds gives me uh, bleed damage on enemy, uh, which works great on the boss. However, if you're asking about why not Intimidation, and uh, the reason for that is at the very end of this description, it says some powerful enemies are immune. So that made me question, will it work on the boss or not? And uh, the effect of it is, I believe, 46% or 43% reduction of the magical and physical attack. And it's lasting for 4 seconds. So it's good for, let's say, before a laser beam or any one-shot mechanic, I guess. Or during the fire breath, for example, for the flame lizard. But uh, since I wasn't sure about if he's immune to it, I skipped this path for now. So I went for Blood Price. That's only being used if you're playing with a priest, for example. Because you're never gonna die with a priest. Anyways, let's showcase the DPS. And uh, let's get it going. Spirit. It's over for you. Into the grave. No one can 
So I've already done about 2 million DPS or total damage for one minute. The uh, DPS was about 30k. It's going down due to me not doing anything anymore, but roughly 30k DPS. And that's on a stationary target, of course, and with a crit of 12% for uh, one minute. So this is my build. I'm planning on trying it out. Hopefully you guys get to see it uh, on stream uh, because I'll be doing uh, Balrog soon and I'm gonna record it, see how it goes. Versus the uh, Pyrus, it went decently, it went okay. My uh, total uh, damage was roughly 4.3 million up to 5 million. It really depends on your party and party setup. With the priest, it was about 5 million plus, and without the priest, I was on uh, 4.5 million or so. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, I hope this will help you guys a little bit for the uh, raiding and for the end game dungeons. And uh, there's not much to it, there's only three buttons or four buttons, as you can see Death Spin, Groundbreaker, Bloodlust, Blood Price. That's all you need. And for everything else, it's potions and um, obviously cross slash to travel. Around. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.